Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Rice and today we're gonna to be talking all about post-COVID vaccine shingles. We're gonna do a brief overview of what shingles actually is and then talk a little bit about why shingles may occur after specific COVID-19 vaccines. Let's go. Shingles is an extremely painful skin rash that's actually caused by the same virus that causes chickenpox. This virus is called herpes varicella zoster virus. What happens is after you get chickenpox, the herpes zoster virus then hides within your nerves. Years down the road, when your immune system is weakened, the virus rears its ugly head again and this leads to shingles. Shingles usually presents as a collection of painful blisters that follow the pattern of those nerves where the virus was hiding in for many years. Usually about three out of every 1,000 people get shingles, but there have been several reports of individuals getting shingles after specific COVID-19 vaccines. Why could this be happening? The only reports of post-COVID vaccine shingles have come from the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines because of their mRNA technology. These are strong vaccines that have both antigens and adjuvants. An antigen is a foreign substance usually a protein that elicits an immune response leading to the creation of antibodies. An adjuvant is something that enhances the immune response, allowing the immunity to last for a long, long time. Some commonly used adjuvants in other vaccines are things like polyethylene glycol, soap, aluminum, and lipid nanoparticle technology. In terms of the COVID-19 vaccines of Pfizer and Moderna, the known adjuvants that have been used are aluminum and the lipid nanoparticle technology. The antigens combined with the adjuvants in the context of vaccines allow for immunity to last a very long time. So getting these mRNA vaccines weakens your immune system for about two weeks because during this time period, your immune system is busy creating all of those COVID antibodies. Your immune system can't cover all the different areas it needs to at once. So while it's busy creating new COVID antibodies, it's less capable of keeping that herpes zoster virus in check, which leads to the formation of shingles. This is further compounded by the fact that as we, um, mature in our age, our immune system becomes weaker. Because of this, that chicken pox virus that's been taking a nap in your nerves for many, many years becomes awakened and leads to the formation of shingles. If you'd like to know even more information about COVID-19 vaccines in general, I'll put a link to those videos here in the top corner as well as in the description below. Thank you so much for checking out this video and I will see you all on the next one.